Okay, so my last slide or my last video for chapter five or 19 is about operating leverage. It's the relationship between the CM and the income from operations, the contribution margin and income from operations. So my operating leverage is done like this. I take my contribution margin divided by my income from operations. Okay, so when companies have basically the difference between your CM and income from operations is your fixed cost. So when I have high fixed costs, I'm going to have a high operating leverage. So here, example, I've got two different companies. I have Jones and Wilson, and here's their information. Okay, here's my fixed cost at 80,000, my fixed cost over here at 50,000. And so when I calculate them, I, they have the same sales but and the same variable cost and the same contribution margin, but because fixed costs are higher than one, here's my operating leverage. Okay, so Jones is five. Wilson is two. Now, in reality, I'm going to tell you something that you really want the operating leverage to be less more than high. Okay? So having it smaller is better than having it higher. Okay? So if I know the operating leverage, what I may want to use the operating leverage is to measure changes in sales on income from operations so here is another formula for operating leverage the percent of change in sales minus the operating leverage equals the percent of change in income from operations so let's see how we can actually apply that so my sales increased by 10 percent for both companies and what I want to know is what does it do to my operating leverage? So 10% uh, percent, percent of change in sales times 5, which was my operating leverage, which now tells me that I have a 50% change in income from operations. Here I had a 10% change times 2, which is my operating leverage. So I had a 20% change in income from operations. Okay, and so here they are actually on a chart. Um, so, you know, I did say that smaller is better, and I'll, I'll show you on the very last slide after this one. So here's the Jones Company. Here's the Wilson Company with the 10% increase in sales. Here's a slide. This is going to be the last slide I will show you. Is Oh, I keep telling you that. I have two more slides. When the operating leverage is high, it has a large impact on the change of income from operations. When operating leverage is low, it has a small impact. So you just need to understand those things. Uh, finally, it is called the margin of safety. Again, I am not going to actually finish this slide. You guys can figure it out on your own. But this basically, margin of safety is... The decrease, how much I can decrease my sales before I drop into that loss. And so I want you to take a look at it on your own. That would be video, video number eight for this chapter, which talks about operating leverage.